All right, Wilson. I guess now I'll take the time to tell you about my experience over the last 90 days. That's three months for y'all who don't do math very well with this OnePlus Nord 30 right here. Hey, but first, do I have anything on my face, bro? Like, seriously, tell me, man. I got anything in my beard. You always let me go out looking all crazy because you don't want me to get all the girls. You want them all for yourself. <laughs> you ever have a homie do that to you, man? <laughs> Just let you go looking all crazy. Let me clean up a mess. All right, so as far as the OnePlus Nord 30, man, it's actually a really great phone. Look, I don't know how much anyone would have spent on this phone, but I just looked it up. It's still about 300 bucks when you get it online at like Best Buy or something like that. I'm pretty sure you could find a good deal, but for $300, you're getting a lot of premium type stuff. Performance is actually one of them. It's actually a very well-performing phone out in the wild. Uh, I guess I'll kind of just start off by telling you how what I don't like about it, which is only like one or two things. And it's not that I don't like it, it's just that I've had better because I'm a typical Galaxy uh, S Ultra user. So when you compare this to something of the likes of a Galaxy S Ultra series, yeah, there's gonna be some elements that you miss, like always on display. I can't get an always on display on here. You actually just look at it because it's always on. It's always on display. And I can see like if I got a notification from a, a specific app or you know, what time it is, what day it is, or what my battery percentage even is. And I do miss that when having this on because right now I'm looking at a straight up black screen. But once you turn it on, I'll go on to the next thing that I do miss from using a, a higher tier phone such as a Galaxy S series. And that would be the display. Uh, this the, the actual display is great indoors and outdoors it's pretty good but that's where you see most of the shortcomings because it doesn't have as bright of a display without going into any specs like nits and stuff like that the display the display <laughs> the display it gets bright enough to use but you kind of have to pay attention and if you start angling the phone to where you have to you know do all this and stuff like that it starts to wash out so it doesn't have a good viewing angles outside and even inside you know sometimes your viewing angles gets a little dim so you want to hold this thing like straight up so you can just look at it square on especially outdoors so you know it's not necessarily the the best outdoor performer as far as like bright and direct sunlight but it is very very usable in those elements as well as far as the things that I really don't like, I guess I would say about it. That's pretty much it. The rest of it is like, dang, how could they give me all of this for just $300? This is nuts. You know what? Before we get into all the things I really do like about the phone, let's talk about my video sponsor for today because I got to pay some bills and I, I owe Wilson like 40 bucks. So let me just uh, go to this video real quick so y'all can see. Let's pay the bills. Hey, Wilson. What you doing slacking again, man? You're always slacking. Anyways, get up. I wanted to show you this new 42 liter Carry On Pro I got from July. Man, this thing is rock solid. Look at that. You know how they always kill in your bags when you go to the airport? Not today, son. And guess what I got in here? In this hard shell front case. This right here is enough space for your 15 inch MacBook, laptop, whatever you want to put in there. So it's gonna be protected in there. And guess what? Since you can carry on your laptop and all your other stuff that requires batteries, on the top here, if you come around the back, look at this, bro. Open up this handle right here. And then we have a little built-in battery pack. That's what's up. You can just pop this out if you need to, and you can charge on the go. That is some James Bond stuff. That is super cool, dude. I'm gonna put that back in there, pop it in that compartment, bring this down. You see that? You see that, that telescope and handle right there? Check this out, baby. TSA approved latches right there. You just pop this in here just like this. Boom, boom, and then bam. And then we get inside of the bag to see some good stuff, man. Come over here and check this out, baby. Look, we got the Y strap right here for compression. Comes with a little compression pad right there. You got your hidden laundry bag. That way you can keep your stinky little socks and unmentionables in there. Then you got this little side bag right there. You got a little section bag right here. Two compartments, two complete compartments inside of this high quality material bag. And then to top things all off, it's got these silent move wheels with a lifetime warranty. Now let's go some places. I'm out. All right, man, the first thing I want to tell you about was the camera. So come on out here, man. I'll give you a ride home. But before we do that, we got to take some pictures. So my car is really dirty right now, but the pictures will come out good anyways, because it's really got a great camera. Um, now, you got to do this. This is the secret to taking great pictures. See what I'm doing down here? You wipe off your camera first. How many times has somebody taken a picture with like 
makeup and face juice all over their camera, like the selfie camera, it's all smudged and everything. So make sure you wipe off your camera first. Matter of fact, let me wipe off the selfie camera first because I'm gonna take a selfie in just a minute. But the camera is really good, man, especially in uh, daylight. The daylight or like bright light situations, the camera is really good. So let me just get a uh, quick photo of my front end right here and make sure you put it on 4.3 because that's, that's the way you're gonna get all of the megapixels. It's gonna be four, three, not 16 by nine. I just realized that because you're cropping in. So you just come down here, you snap a quick picture of that front end, boom, right there. And then you got yourself a good picture. You only, it's just point and shoot. But they do have a pro mode, which is, I really like because they're giving you access to a lot of stuff. Oh, and earlier when we were eating, I snapped a picture of your burrito, man, in extra HD. That's a feature I've never really seen before really still don't understand it but it's called extra hd and it just kind of enhances the photo or it just gets in there a little bit deeper you know you can only you can crop in like one or two times so that's cool let me take a quick selfie man let me just uh turn this bad boy around real quick get you a selfie so you can see what this looks like and i'm gonna do it this way even though i hate taking pictures like this let me wipe off the camera because remember you gotta wipe off your face juice let me do this right here Oh man, I don't, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. It's a little washed out, let's see. No, oh, that ain't too bad. Let me take it like this. Let me go back and boom. Man, I ain't handsome as <laughs> All right, well, if we get in the car, man, let's go. We can finish talking about this phone on the way to your house. So as I was saying, man, the camera is really, really good. Video wise, it, it, it works really well outdoors, but once again, uh, outdoors is always going to be uh, performing a little bit better than indoors on a camera like this, especially with a mid-tier phone such as this. Um, so, you know, as far as a camera array, I would say this is not for the pixel peeper. If you're one of those people, then you should probably look at something else like the OnePlus 11, move on to an iPhone or a Galaxy or something like that, or even a Pixel. New Pixel came out, but $300, man, they are killing it with this Nord 30. Performance wise, camera wise, and then we get to my favorite feature. Well, yeah, it's probably my favorite feature, the battery. All you do is plug it in, you got like 20 something minutes and you go from like zero to a hundred in that much time. And then this battery will last you all stinking day. This thing is an absolute beast. Hey man, my little fuel light just came up, man. Uh, you got some, I know I owe you money, but can, can, you, can you spot me like $40? <laughs> So I can put some gas here with. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm on E. Look at that. <laughs> I'm straight up on E, man. All right, we're going to get there, though. We ain't going to both be walking. But back to the phone, man. It actually is a very top performer. I played a couple of games on here. I'm not a phone gamer. But um, as far as doing my normal daily chores on here, like Instagram, TikTok, and stuff like that, it never misses a beat. Like I said, the only thing I really can't say I like is just the outdoor screen performance because, you know, it kind of gets washed out and stuff like that under super bright light or direct sunlight. But most of the time, I'm not in direct sunlight. I'm in my car, in the house, at the studio or something like that. And then I'm using it for all my social media stuff and content consumption like YouTube. So as far as needing a phone, who is this phone for? That is the question to be asked because when you only want to spend a budget of maybe 300, maybe 350 or something like that, um dude can you mute your phone while we're talking dude <laughs> but when you got that kind of budget like what what's available to you i'm really excited now that this is available to us because we're getting in my opinion man we're getting great build quality i will say the on the back side i don't know what gorilla glass or whatever they're using back here it is a little little tender i've got a couple of scratches back here because i go caseless and maybe that's another thing i don't like about the phone because it's one plus because they're not so popular you don't have a ton of variety as far as skins and cases i'm not a case guy but i can imagine there's not that many cases out there for nord, nord 30 and when you go on a website like soapy guard or d brand or something like that you're not getting a lot of skin choices or are you i haven't even really looked because I, I like the way this thing looks but if you're rough with it you probably will get some scratches but um as far as the phone overall for a $300 value for someone who really just wants a very functional phone that's going to work all day and work well all day, uh, you should just stop looking here. This is it. I really enjoy looking, uh, working with this phone. It's just, it's a powerhouse. And I just, every time I use it, when I, when I kind of fly through it, I'm using some social media stuff and even the camera today, using it today when I was looking at some photos earlier, 
it really surprised me like dang they doing this with 300 dollars now while the iphone and hell even the pixel now is like over a thousand bucks and the pixels used to be pretty inexpensive and the galaxy phones don't even talk about the prices of those so yeah they're doing all this for 300 bucks and i I still think it's a great value for people who are looking for a very full functioning phone that you ain't got to charge. You can just use that bad boy all day. Just go about your business and rock it out. Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is I got to get Wilson home because first of all, we are running out of gas and neither one of us wants to be out here pushing. That is embarrassing, bro. Let's go.